Thank you. The next question, the member for London North Centre. My question is to the Premier. Omicron is spreading like wildfire. Two London schools closed last week because they couldn't even cover the absences. Thames Valley District School Board Chair Lori Pizzolato writes that 400 education positions remain unfilled every single day. That's 400 each day. 400. My constituent Mary wrote to the Premier and Minister Elliott, what are you doing to address this sixth wave of COVID-19 in Ontario? I don't want to hear about your hospital beds, which are very difficult to staff as more and more healthcare workers become infected every day. I want to hear how you're working to keep people out of those hospital beds, especially elders, children too young to be vaccinated, people with disabilities, immunocompromised people, people with cancer or with organ transplants, Indigenous peoples, people from underserved communities who have been hit the hardest. Speaker, why did this Question. government accept that children would be left unprotected when they made masks optional? And said safety was optional. Yeah. Thank you very much, Speaker, and thank you for the question. We have every step along the way taken every possible uh, step that we could take to make sure that the people, the health and well being of the people of Ontario, is protected. The best way to protect yourself is with a vaccination. We recognize that some can't be vaccinated yet, although there are some very promising developments uh, working their way through the system for approval. But we uh, recognize that we were going to see an increase in cases, but uh, that doesn't mean that people should, because we've dropped some of the public health measures, that doesn't mean that people should just ignore all of the other benefits, that there, the precautions that should be taken. Wearing a mask, of course, is optional now. It's not mandatory but it's up to every person to assess their own level of risk. And so we are recommending, of course, that people continue to wear masks in crowded public Response. spaces like public transit and so on, continuing with the usual measures of mask wearing, frequent hand washing, and all the rest. It's not mandatory, but it is something that everybody needs to assess under their own personal circumstances to determine whether a mask continues to be in their best interest. The supplementary question. Respectfully, Speaker, masks are tools, tools this government has left gathering dust on the table. Children need help assessing risk. They need, they need direction from this government. They need leadership. The science table, back to the Premier. The science table, kids, Sick Kids Hospital, and numerous school boards fought for masks to continue so kids would stay safe in school. But leading experts were undermined by this government, whose reckless, politically motivated decision made masks optional in schools. Speaker, this government ignored science, ignored their own expert table, and threw caution into the wind when they should be protecting children. My constituent, Kathy, wrote me a letter urging me to help the government understand the change to their previous decision regarding masks is all about protecting us and keeping us to stay healthy. When will the Premier call the Chief Medical Officer of Health and make him answer the growing number of parents who want their kids to stay safe? Will the Premier and the Chief Medical Officer of Health answer the growing flood of parents and families who are terrified Question. about the dangerous amount of illness in our schools? Yes or no? The Minister of Health. Every decision our government has made since the beginning of this pandemic has been based on clinical evidence, based on science, based on recommendations from Dr. Moore, our Chief Medical Officer of Health, and his advisors. This has been the course that we have always taken and the course that we will continue to take. With respect to the overall view of whether masking should be mandatory or optional at this point, as Dr. Moore has said on a number of occasions, we are at the stage now where we need to learn to live with COVID. We're not going to eliminate it in the next short while. We will still have cases, but it's important that people continue to be vaccinated. We have increasing numbers of antivirals that are coming into the province. Dr. Moore is going to be speaking about that this afternoon, and we do have capacity in our hospitals. But we know that people will are following these measures. Response. We are making these recommendations based on what Dr. Moore and the epidemiologists have told us. We have always done that in the past, and we will continue to do that in the future. Next question. Member for